Assalamu alaikum. I hope those are watching this tutorial doing great and having good health. In this video, I'm going to explain shortly about the absorption of water and mineral salts. I use the word shortly as because absorption of mineral salts actually can't be described well in a single video. Uh, and uh, in this uh, platform actually that I'm explaining from SSC level and O level students that uh, the transport in organisms but absorption of salts it requires number of class because there are number of scientists who explained some theory and some process by which the absorption of mineral salts is going on but in this video I'm going uh, to explain primarily what's going on inside so as we have studied in my first second class uh, that what is diffusion, imbibition, transpiration and osmosis. So if we understand that process well then we will be able to understand that uh, how the water is absorbing uh, through the plants and why the diffusion pressure deficit is creating the suction pump and then through this the cells from adjacent cells water is moving upwards think about this picture before going to think about I draw it in a uh, bad way but if you see this picture it's a cross sections of a root of a monocot plants and it's actually a picture from books which would be uh, easy for understand if I just make it reverse think about it okay think about it suppose this is the roots okay so this is the root here so this root here will be able to the first contact of the capillary uh, water so you see this is the root here and the first layer of the roots is known as epiblema or you can say this is epidermis and if you see these uh, circular shape type of cells this uh, cells gathering is known as cortex and then you see there is a circular shape again this is known as pericycle and inside pericycle there are the bunch of vascular bundle and this is known as xylem and phloem if you see this this is the way that how water will be going up and then when xylem tissue will have the water then the responsibility goes to xylem tissue to reach this water to the leaves because uh, when when water i mean water is absorbing through the through the root hair root and then it's going up how this is this things is going on i hope you know that osmosis the process of osmosis i hope you know the diffusion pressure deficit through this part I mean when there is a diffusion pressure deficit because in leaves water is using for the photosynthesis process so when some water is used so and that cells the requirements creates and that requirements from one adjacent cell the diffusion pressure deficit is being created through the root hair and this is actually the uh, hair root this is hair root and through this process, this is the soil and uh, this is the first contact of a water. Suppose the water molecules are there and then these water molecules will enter to, this, to the hair root till this is the epidermis or you can say this is epiblema or you can say this is epiblema. So when water is passing through the hair root and then epiblema and then you see this this structure is known as cortex then through this cortex the water is carried through another part this is the part of pericycle and this is known as endodermis this is known as endodermis you know that derm means skin or the layer endo means inside so as this is the outer layer it is known as epi epidermis and as this is a part of the inside of the inner layer that is why it is known as endodermis and you know this cube shaped things which is actually i'm just giving you an idea this is the xylem cell or the xylem tissues and you know there are four types of xylem tissues up there 
the tracheid, vessel, xylem fiber and xylem parenchyma. So when these xylem tissues are getting this water, then through this vascular bundle, through this transport system, water will reach to the leaves where the photosynthesis process is going on. So to uh, the, for ongoing process of photosynthesis, water is required. So when leaves is already used some water, then the requirement starts and then it creates the diffusion pressure deficit. And through this process by the adjacent cells, the diffusion pressure deficit creates the suction, suction force. And these lead water from this point to this point. So when the xylem tissues are having water, then this water actually carried through the xylem tissues through this process. And this is a very primary idea of the absorption of water. So through the osmosis process, water is being absorbed inside the plants. And think about the, the process of mineral salt absorption. Usually, usually there are two types of mineral salt absorptions. That is active absorption, active absorption and this is passive absorption. So what is active absorption? Where the metabolic process will be used, this is called active absorptions or mediated absorptions. And where the metabolic process and the metabolic energy is not used, this is known as passive absorptions or non-mediate absorptions. So now you might have a question, what is this? What is metabolic energy? Where it will be used? Yes, your question is valid, but it requires number of uh, lectures to make it upload. Like you think about it, cytochrome palm theory by Lundegaard, how the, uh, the, the salts, I mean, in case of cations and anions are being absorbed. The process is really, really detailed. So in this case, you just think that active absorptions are type of absorptions that is required the metabolic energy. So usually, like magnesium chloride is a salt and that will be that will be carried through as a cation and anion. Usually salt are not absorbed by the plants directly but as an ions. So these cations and anions are, are uh, independently uh, absorbed by the plants through some process. So in the HSC level biology when I explain this in a detailed way that the process of absorptions then there will be number of types and number of scientists who proposed the theory how these things is going on. So as I'm going to explain very primarily in this lecture, the translocation is important. The next topic is translocation of plants. Think about a road. This is a road and you know a divider inside at the middle portions of the road. So the cars on the left side is moving on that direction, suppose. There are the cars that is moving in that direction and some cars and the other part are moving the opposite reactions. So these things is continuously going on. And, and when some part is going in that direction and some part are going that direction in the same road, in the same plants, similarly these things is going on. That means minerals and water is going upwards from the root hair to the cortex to the endodermis to the xylems and then moving upwards and the same time when food is producing in leaf the stored food will be again uh, transported by the phloem tissues and then sieve tube being a tube like shape is carried this part from the upper side to the other part of the body. So hence in one way that water and mineral salts is moving upwards and the food particles are moving downwards and this is known as the translocation. So if I just give you an idea simply that what are the, uh, the process of uh, the, the absorptions of water then the flowchart would be at first the flowchart would be, I need to erase this, at first it would be hair root, okay, hair root, and then it will move through the epidermis, epidermis, and then it will move through cortex, 
cortex and then it will move through endo endodermis and then it will move to the xylem tissues xylem tissues and then it will move to the leaf this is the flowchart of simply the flowchart of absorption of water i didn't actually explain well the absorption of minerals i'm just giving you an idea because when you will study about it just read the process and wait and if you have another curiosity about knowing it that what is the detailed process then you can uh, search for the massy flow uh, the diffusion flow this uh, this uh, cytochrome pump theory by lundegaard and there are some other uh, proposed theory of absorption of salts so simply you just think about the flowchart this is the the process of uh, absorption of water and you must figure it out i mean when you try to draw it perfectly when there are some questions from this you must draw in your exam paper and in case of these you must think about simply what is the translocation basic and when you read i hope you'll understand so uh, this is a very simple lecture regarding the absorption of water if you have any questions or any remarks uh, let me know in the comment sections and please uh, let me know your feedback also I shall be so much grateful if you have I have your feedback so this is the third lecture and the next lecture would be regarding the blood composition of blood structure of heart and the process of blood circulations inside human heart I'm coming up with that stay tuned stay connected bye